in lecture 26 we will discuss uh, the solution of previous uh, problem which we discussed in lecture 25 okay here uh, a causal discrete time lt system is described by a difference equation okay and x of n indicates the input and y of n the output uh, we need to find uh, the function h of z and also we need to find the inverse response h of n and we need to find the step response okay and uh, lt system means uh, which uh, obey linearity property and time invariant property and discrete time here we can see that the x of z represent the transform of x of n and h of uh, z uh, represents the transfer function of the system okay so this is actually the transfer function and uh, inverse response means the h of n okay and uh, y of n is actually the output or the response of the uh, system and the transform is y of z okay uh, by using convolution property we know that uh, y of z is equal to x of z into h of z okay this is the convolution property so output y of z we can calculate by multiplying x of z and h of z so from this uh, i can write uh, h of z okay so h of z uh, from this relation we can write h of z is equal to y of z by x of z so we need to find out uh, a relationship between y of z and x of z so here uh, the difference equation is given like this y of n minus 3 by 4 y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 is equal to x of n now we need to find the uh, z transform is a transform of this particular equation okay and uh, so we can write the is a transform like this uh, y of z minus 3 by 4 is actually y of uh, n minus 1 so by time shifting property uh, if there is a signal x of n minus n 0 we can write z raised to minus n 0 into x of z so based on that you can write uh, it becomes z raised to minus 1 into y of z plus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2 into y of z which is equal to x of z now we can group uh, the y of z terms so if you take y of z common okay the remaining terms will be uh, 1 minus 3 by 4 is a raised to minus 1 plus 1 by 8 is a raised to minus 2 okay which is equal to x of z now we need to find out uh, y of z by x of z so that is h of z so here i can write h of z h, h of z is equal to y of z by x of z okay it will be uh, 1 by okay 1 minus 3 by 4 is a raised to minus 1 plus 1 by 8 is a raised to minus 2 okay now i can make this uh, equation in a positive quantity uh, or positive powers of z uh, so that I, I need to multiply numerator and denominator with z square so it becomes z square divided by z square minus uh, 3 by 4 is set plus 1 by 8 okay now i can fa factorize the denominator term okay so it becomes z square divided by z minus uh, 1 by 2 okay into z minus 1 by 4 So this is your h of z. Okay. Now we got the first fact uh, term uh, h of z, which is the transfer function of the system, which is given by y of z by x of z. Okay. Now we'll uh, 
do this second part and one more thing uh, here we, we need, need to, to find, find the, the roc uh, roc of so the system here i can okay, mark uh, here you can see that one by this four here is mentioned that is a causal discrete time two. lta system and it is given that if the signal, the signal is causal, is causal means, uh, here you can see, see the, the signal is there causal can be two poles the roc must be outside the poles outermost pole so it will be like this so you can write the roc like this modulus of is it greater than 1 by 2 okay now we'll uh, discuss the next uh, term uh, that is we need to find the impulse response of the system okay impulse response or we'll call it as hfn actually this hfn and h of z are fourier transform pairs means we got h of z from h of z we can find h of n simply by taking inverse z transform so this is your h of z now we need to find the inverse of this for that we can use the partial fraction method so in order to find the partial fraction uh, we will always write h of z by z form okay so 1 z this is z square so 1 z we will move to the left side so remaining term is z by z minus 1 by 2 into z minus 1 by 4 okay and this i can uh, write like this a by z minus 1 by 2 plus b by z minus 1 by 4 okay uh, if you take the lcm it becomes a into z minus 1 by 4 plus b into z minus 1 by 2 okay and the denominator it becomes z minus 1 by 2 into uh, z minus 1 by 4 now we can uh, compare the uh, numerator here also the numerator i can compare okay so if you compare like this uh, it becomes z is equal to uh, a into z minus 1 by 4 plus uh, b into z minus 1 by 2 okay and uh, if you substitute uh, z is equal to 1 by 2 if you substitute z is equal to 1 by 2 you will get mm, one constant and uh, if you substitute z is equal to 1 by 4 you will get another constant so you will get a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to sorry uh, it will be a 2 okay and uh, the second constant will be minus 1 okay and uh, now we can write your h of z okay h of z by z is equal to uh, you can write the constant here so 2 by uh, z minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by z minus 1 by 4 okay. now i can multiply with the z so it becomes uh, h of z is equal to 2 z by z minus 1 by 2 minus z by z minus 1 by 4 okay now we need to find the uh, uh, inverse of this particular system okay uh, for that uh, okay uh, here uh, you can see that the roc of the system is uh, modulus of z greater than 1 by 2 okay so if we take the two poles at 1 by 2 and sorry 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 and the ROC is outside 1 by 2 okay so both indicate a causal okay this is also causal this is also causal so I can write uh, H of n in a causal form okay that is a raised to n and d of n form so 2 into uh, 1 by 2 the all raised to n into e of n 
minus Uh, the next quantity uh, you can write uh, which is uh, given by e z by uh, e z minus 1 by 4 so you can write minus 1 by 4 the whole raised to n into e of n ok so because it is a causal discrete time LTA system so we need to consider this ROC ok so this is h of n now uh, we will discuss the third question, uh, third part find the step response s of n of the system okay in order to find the s of n of the system again uh, h of z is given so here uh, step response step response means uh, your x of n is equal to u of n okay that's a meaning so you can find out uh, x of z okay from this you can find out x of z x of z is equal to z by z minus 1 okay and more or less of z greater than 1 now we got h of z but they are asked to find out the step response okay A response means the output that is y of n or y of z so we can find out the y of z from this relation uh, okay y of z which is equal to x of z into h of z okay and x of z is given z by z minus 1 and h of uh, z is equal to z square by z minus 1 by 2 into z minus 1 by 4 okay so I can uh, simplify this I can take uh, 1 uh, z to the left side okay here so I can uh, rearrange this equation like this y of z so y of z by z is equal to z square by z minus 1 into z minus 1 by 2 into z minus 1 by 4 okay three times will be there so I can uh, split this it becomes uh, a by um, z minus 1 plus b by z minus 1 by 2 plus c by z minus 1 by 4 okay uh, after taking the lcm uh, i can find out the constant values uh, a b and c respectively uh, i'll directly write the result here you need to take the lcm and i will write here it's a is 8 by 3 okay b you will get uh, minus 2 and c will be 1 by 3 ok so you need to simplify this uh, it's very simple and uh, now i will write the final y of z by z ok it becomes uh, 8 by 3 into z minus 1 uh, minus 2 into z minus 1 by 2 okay plus uh, 1 by 3 into z minus 1 by 4 okay now i need to move this uh, z to the right side i will uh, write that step also so this i will multiply this z here so it becomes like this and i will avoid this z okay now we got the y of z uh, from this i can find out y of n again uh, the ROC of the signal ok uh, again it is a causal signal so from the equation uh, you can say that uh, 3 poles 1 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 ok and the system is causal so the ROC will be outside the 
unisec okay so all the poles lies inside this area okay or roc lies outside the poles so i can write all the signals in a causal form okay causal form so the result will be uh, y of n or here this y of n is uh, indicated as s of n because it is step response so it becomes 8 by 3 u of n minus uh, 2 into 1 by 2 the whole raised to n into u of n plus uh, 1 by 3 into 1 by 4 the whole raised to n into u of n okay. this is step response okay. thank you I will give you one uh, practice question based on this concept here uh, the output y of n of a discrete time LTN system is given and which is 2 into 1 by 3 all raised to n to u of n and x of n is a input here x of n is equal to u of n ok the step signal as the input ok find the impulse response h of n of the system and find the output y of n when the input x of n is 1 by 2 all raised to n to u of n we need to 